We already broke the budget with... So we have a problem. We have three kids, but we also only have three bedrooms. But we do also have this. This is in a big room, but it's just enough to fit a bed and some toys, and it would make for a great bedroom. And as you can see, we have no insulation in here. This is the roof uh, of the house. So we need to insulate this. Once that is done, we can go ahead and add some walls, some flooring and a bed. So first things first, we need to get rid of the stuff that's in here and then we can start working on it. So we have a budget for this thing, $1,500. And I need to stay within that budget, so I'm just going to start by ordering the stuff we need. So let's see, we have the wood for the air gap that we're going to create on the ceiling part. Uh, we have the masonite that we put on top of that. This will create the air gap so that the cold air from the outside won't go into the room and it will flow towards the attic instead. Then we'll add the insulation and some plastic to act as a steam protector. And then we'll go ahead and add the panels for the wall. For the rest of the walls in here, we're going to need plasterboard. And we also need some way of heating this room. And we're going to go with electric floor heating because that will be the easiest. And of course, we need the floor. And I do think I have some extra wood just in case we need to fix something already. So I think this is it. So all the material, including the floor heating, came down to $1,392, so still within budget. So let's go ahead and start working. It is a bit of a hassle filming in here, but we have added this uh, in Sweden. It's called Masonite. I don't know what it's called. Fiber board, thin board, whatever. And that creates this air gap beneath here. So the next step is to add insulation. And to keep the insulation on the wall, we're just going to attach some string like this over it onto here and that will hold the insulation in place, I hope. So I'm on my way home from work and we realized yesterday that we need some extra stuff which I just went and bought. Uh, I needed to get some electrical flex tube some tape for the steam protector plastic and some plasterboard screws and also i ordered some sheets for the floor heating uh, kind of insulating sheets with a little track to be able to attach the floor heating in the tracks so i'm already above budget and there's not even any furniture in the room come on Sorry, not for you, the, the cars. Anyways, let's keep building.
we already broke the budget with $200. You would think that after renovating quite a bit, you would know that it's really hard to stay within budget, but no, you never realize that. But on the bright side, we're all done with the ceiling and it's going all the way down to the floor in this room and the electrical is mostly done. And now we need to start working on the plasterboards and the flooring, but that's gonna be for another video. So I'll see you in that one, bye. At least we're working with really thick walls because I mean, this is the outer wall. I don't know if you can see how thick it is, but it's pretty damn thick. 